The Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade. How do you feel? I grew up in the Bible Belt and overturning Roe v. Wade was one of the most prominent talking points from politicians campaigning in the area. The dog caught the car. I didn't think it would happen. What will they run on now? I'm kind of afraid to find out. Getting rid of gay marriage is next up on the chopping block. Edit. To all those saying no, gay marriage was made legal by Obergefell v. Hodges. If they can overturn Roe v. Wade, what makes you think this won't be overturned? Edit again again. From U, G I T R J O D A statement from Thomas. Removed majority as it was just Thomas. Our fertility doctor has informed us that he will no longer provide services to me and my wife given the higher chance of needing a medically necessary abortion. Any stillborn child would now legally be required to be carried to full term. This is far too dangerous for my wife's health in his medical opinion. So intense rage is how I'm feeling. No abortion, no health care, no maternity leave, no affordable housing, school violence, police authorities with too much power and close to zero control and responsibility. Lobbying. America feels like a premium third world. As a healthcare worker, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. I'm legitimately scared about what ends people will go to without safe options for birth control. Our healthcare system is stretched thin as is an emergency medicine as a rubber band barely holding it together. I don't like the implications of how this can potentially break something so damn fragile, especially after the fallout of the COVID pandemic. Maybe fucked up to say, but I'm glad my women's march, protesting, social justice fighting, feminist mother isn't alive to see this. This will not stop abortions. This will stop safe abortions. Edit. Why am I getting all these replies about gun control? While not American, I'll be watching the aftermath unfolding with some anxiety. This flavor of insanity is often contagious. Weird. Because I'm German and our parliament just liberalized abortion law today. Hours later they overturn Roe v. Wade in the US, so yeah. In the past the US was a place to look up to in terms of individual rights and freedom. But I guess that's no more. Just hoping the pro-lifers out there are making space in their homes for all the kids they plan on adopting. Sick. My friend had three miscarriages this year, two of which required abortions for her health and future fertility. Women and babies will die. People will lose mothers, wives, girlfriends, daughters, granddaughters, the list goes on. More children will be born only to be abused and neglected. The fallout will be more wide-ranging and insidious than we can even anticipate. I'm also violently angry. I feel terribly sorry for the waves of unwanted children that are forthcoming. We estimate that crime fell roughly 20% between 1997 and 2014 due to legalized abortion. The cumulative impact of legalized abortion on crime is roughly 45%, accounting for a very substantial portion of the roughly 50-55% to overall decline from the peak of crime in the early 1990s. Crime will skyrocket within at least the next 18 years due to unwanted children and broken households. That's no problem for the right. That'll give them even more reason to further militarize the police and over-police minority neighborhoods, and eventually increase gun sales in the country as well. I think I'm having a panic attack. I was just told my pregnancy isn't likely to be viable at the end of last week but there is still a heartbeat. I don't know what this is going to change for me in literally the next few days. I have an appointment at 1 to help determine if we need to terminate, but now I'm not sure what options I have. I am so scared and angry. I doubt this comment will be seen given that nearly 4,000 comments already made, but I'll just say that the logic used to justify this decision is honestly more worrying than the decision itself. It's bad enough that the door is open for outlawing abortion. But the logic used to justify overruling a previous Supreme Court verdict can be used to roll back nearly anything. It doesn't matter that they wrote in the decision that this logic shouldn't be used for other situations, because that's not how precedent works. They set the precedent that decisions can be rolled back if they don't conform to an arbitrary interpretation of what the Constitution originally guaranteed, and so this can be used for just about anything. They can always say well, it makes sense this time. Not next time, but this time. We promise we won't do it again. Probably.
It's no wonder that people have little confidence in the Supreme Court now. They did it to themselves. Edit quick edit since the Reddit algorithm has blessed my comment with visibility I encourage people to reach at least the syllabus portion of the full decision text, which can be found here. Link it's short and lays out the reasoning behind. The decision. Regardless of your feelings about the outcome, it's valuable to understand the arguments and form your own decision as to whether they make sense. Of course, the dissents are well worth a read as well. EDIT2 I feel the need to add this part because some critics seem to be misunderstanding my point. I never said that the problem is that the court overturned precedent. The court mentions Plessy v. Ferguson being overturned on the fourth goddamn page of the decision text. You think I don't realize that the Supreme Court has overturned decisions before? My point is that the logic they used here is insidious. The idea of implicit rights is foundational to many rights we currently enjoy and take for granted such as the right to privacy. The decision here calls that very logic into question, and with it a huge number of previous rulings that can be overturned using this decision as justification. To those not thinking about the impact abortion bans will have on the living, breathing women and existing families of this nation. Overall, 23.7% of women have had an abortion since Roe was decided. That number has dropped to around 18% for women in recent years due to better availability of contraception and more complete sexual education, even if via internet. If you truly care about reducing abortion, this is where to concentrate your effort. Those wanting Roe overturned and abortion criminalized are in the minority, approximately 30% and approximately 20%. This prohibition is not the will of the people. Those who think their lifestyle means it can never happen to them, look around you. Every fourth woman you see has made the choice to end a pregnancy. In your church. In your school. In your friend group. In your family. Maybe you and you're lying to protect yourself from, well, we all know what you're protecting yourself from. It happens. All. The. Time. Even the women screaming outside clinics, them too. Roughly the same number of women today have miscarriages as have abortions. Miscarriages look like botched abortions. Miscarriages often require A, D, and C to protect the woman from sepsis and other complications. A, D, and C is an abortion. If you think your wife, your daughter, yourself, will be treated well by medical personnel because not me, I suggest you read some of the pre-row horror stories. About 40%, 40% of women will be directly and negatively impacted by this intrusion. None of that 40% owe you a single cell of their body. At any given time there are over 100,000 children waiting to be adopted in the U.S. There's no shortage of children to adopt. The women most likely today to abort are those of us most in need. Poverty-stricken women, often women of color, in their 20s or 30s, often having children already, who don't have access to decent health care, education, or contraception, who work constantly and still need assistance just to feed the children she has, these are the women most impacted. The U.S. has the worst maternal mortality rate of the developed world. Women of color die at three times the rate of white women. For those thinking I don't want to pay for. Less than insert favorite soapbox greater than you already pay for it, one way or another. As a community, we all do. The only question to answer is, does the community spend to educate and lift everyone up? Or does the community spend to shame, demonize, imprison those with the least? Note to self. Invest in privatized women's prison, it will soon be boom time. S. The clerk checking out your 99-cent plastic bowl from Walmart is likely working as many jobs and or hours as possible only to still need public assistance to feed their children, that they then get shamed for needing, having. Before starting any back-in-my-day stories, think, really think, about what it would have been like for you 30 to 40 years ago if you instead made $70 for every $100. What if you had no family to help? I remember taking $20 and a calculator to the grocery store to feed us for an entire week. Because that's all I had. Now take that $20 away and another $100 for good measure. That's where today's poor lie. Walmart recorded record profits, thanks in part to the corporate welfare of low wages, no, low taxes, and an economic system manipulated to allow the wealth of an entire nation to be siphoned off into private hands. Link 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 link. Betrayed as an American. We can't have any progress in this country due to a very small, rich and powerful minority who treats a 2,000-year-old book as law. 
which they consistently misquote or misrepresent. Edit. I know the Bible wasn't quoted in the decision. The conservative justices are too smart to overrule something off pure religious pretext. But you're an absolute idiot with their head in the sand if you think their faith played no role in this being overturned after being a judicial precedent for more than 30 years. If you think only women are affected by the abortion ban, you are wrong. Forcing babies into poverty will only increase crime rates because children and adults of low economic status have more incentive to join gangs and commit crimes. Imagine trying to buy a house or get a job with all of the extra competition in this f-king economy. Imagine trying to have a kid with your wife but there are medical complications which make your fetus non-viable, requiring an abortion and she dies for no reason. People you know personally will be affected and may die or suffer immensely as a result. This affects the entire country in a very negative way. You might think this won't affect you because most of us never lived in a reality where abortion was banned federally. All it takes is bad luck for it to affect you. It's just the start. Clarence Thomas wrote today that contraception and gay marriage are next. The court is giving you guns but taking away everything else. I feel angry and betrayed. Especially as the wording of the ruling clears the way for other rights to be done away with in the same manner. A direct quote from their ruling states. Next, the court examines whether the right to obtain an abortion is rooted in the nation's history and tradition and whether it is an essential component of ordered liberty. The court finds that the right to abortion is not deeply rooted in the nation's history and traditions. Guess what else, from their standpoint, fits that criteria? LGBTQ+, transgender, etc., etc., rights. I give it a month, at most six months, before SCOTUS gets a case on their docket that deal with LGBTQ plus rights such as marriage. And I feel the writing is on the wall in regards to how this court will rule. So, I already live in a state with a trigger law about abortion. Abortion, in my state, will become damn near illegal within 30 days. The only abortion that will be legal is in the case of life-threatening pregnancies. My state is already trying to find loopholes in the law to discredit same-sex marriage. As a lesbian, I don't like the writing on the wall. I have less to worry about in regards to abortion rights though I am still very pissed an important right has been effectively taken away for many women but this ruling doesn't bode well for the future. I feel like I'm watching my country fail in real time, at accelerating speed. I'm feeling like religious morals and posturing have no place in government, is how I feel. This will not go well. Separation of chooch and state my ass.